Take four for real with the intro. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, if you're new, welcome. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick review on the XLN Red Filament. With that, let's jump into this right now. Let's hit the intro. Hey everyone, alright, let's get into this. Let's talk about the red material. This is the box that we come in. What we got on the back is a material list of our materials and some recommendations for that. Um, they've changed the look of the box a little bit. It's kind of on the green side if you ask me, a little bit too much green, but it's probably saving the money in the long run, which is always a good thing. Um, the interesting thing is, is they literally don't have their name on the box itself, it's just a sticker, which I think is a little bit on the odd side, but so I'm assuming that they have a manufacturer manufacturing this and they're not doing it all in-house. Now with that said, the box is decent, it's got a nice little window, color and all that, as far as they have a sticker for that information, good sturdy box that comes in. But we're not interested in that now, are we? We're interested in print quality and the material itself. Alright, as you can see here, the red, it's a nice red. And it's, depending on the light that you're in, it could be lean towards the warm side or the cool, or slightly on the cool side. But mostly on the warm side, most of the time, from what I can tell. Um, like I said, if you know the, your Pantone colors, I'd say, mm, I want to say this is would be close to TMS 200. Any graphic designers will know what I mean by that. Uh, anybody who's familiar with the Pantone system will know what I mean by that. Now, that's fine. Print quality. I like it. Looks cool. Looks good. Yes. Um, <laughs> Anyway, print quality looks really good. Um, at a 0 0.06 layer height, it gives you a nice little satin feel to it as far as looking at it. Obviously, you can feel the layers to some extent. Still really quali nice quality print. Um, as far as support goes, they were easily torn away, so it plays really nicely with that. And yeah, I'm very happy with the material. Now, disclaimer, I paid full price for this material, I bought it myself using my own hard-earned money, and yes, I did not ask a dime from them. So this is my own opinion, strictly. Now, as far as, like I said, quality of the print is excellent. I'm very happy with it. It had no stringing whatsoever, but... Also, I've not seen any stringing with this machine, so I, the guys at Robo really dialed in the material. And as far as PLA goes, and this, I was just using their standard setting. I didn't do anything special. I didn't do anything fancy. Just use their standard setting, and it feeds through the machine. This material feeds through the machine nicely. Plays really nice with the machine, and is very happy with the quality of what we're getting here. Um, so yeah, everything is pretty standard as far as that goes. As you guys know, I've done a review on the black and the white, uh, and I expect this to run the same after months on end of being open in the open air like the black does and the white does. I've not had any problems with any of their materials so far, and I'm very happy with the quality of the materials that they're providing. As long as they keep that up, things are going to be fantastic for us. Alright, so pricing. Well, they're very comparable to everybody else out there. They're probably on the cheaper side, actually, which is the funny part. And the quality I've seen is better than some of the no name brands I've got, in my opinion. They have not seen any stringing. Like I said, it prints smooth. The machine has not had any problems with it. And overall, I'm very happy with the material. 
Uh, with that said, I don't really have much more to say about it, other than I'm very happy with the way it turned. And I think it's one of the more top-notch materials as far as that price range goes. And I can't compare it to more expensive stuff, I can't really justify spending $50 on like that hacker. So, but as far as the price range that I'm comfortable in, this stuff is top-notch. Alright, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this quick one. Hit the subscribe button for the next one. You should like it. It's going to be creating a Christmas ornament, getting ready for Christmas. And hit that bell icon so you know when that's up. I'm trying for every Friday, so that's what we're looking for. And with that, I'll see you next time around. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe if you're not.